Methods of identifying and responding to emotional concerns. When identifying and responding to emotional concerns, it is important to draw on core verbal and non-verbal communication skills. When identifying emotions, engage in active listening and pay attention to cues. It is important to look for non-verbal signs and symptoms of distress. You should avoid interrupting the person as they may then volunteer how they are feeling. Be sure to reflect on cues to check your observations. For example, you could say something like, it sounds like you are stressed right now. Ask questions about their emotional well-being, such as how are you feeling about everything that is happening? Or how do you think the cancer has affected you emotionally? Use open-ended questions to explore the person's experience. When responding to emotions, it is important to use non-verbal means, including body language, to convey interest and concern. Acknowledge issues and normalize their feelings. Reassure the patient that their concerns are legitimate and reasonable. Seek clarification and make empathetic statements. And also be sure to allow moments of silence. It is important to avoid unhelpful behaviours such as false reassurance and blocking behaviours. The Tell Me More strategy can be used to identify informational and emotional concerns, as well as to convey interest, help understand the person's situation, beliefs, perspectives, and to avoid premature reassurance. You can use the Ask Tell Ask strategy to identify and address informational concerns that are causing distress or uncertainty. The way to respond to these concerns is by using the nurse strategy. These are naming the emotion. Here, it is imperative to use tentative language so that the patient can correct you. Understanding. Check and convey your understanding, that is, your empathy. Next, respecting or praise, in which you convey your admiration or respect for the person. Supporting, where you can communicate your availability to help and support. Here, it is important to emphasize partnership. Finally, exploring. Seek a deeper understanding of the person. Additional strategies to identify and respond to emotional concerns include allowing the patient to express their emotion. Do not try to inhibit expression of their emotions. Let the person cry, be angry, or express frustration and distress. Central to this is communicating understanding and concern, but avoiding suggestion that there is something wrong with the person. Avoid feeling pressure to fix the person's distress or to solve their problems, or trying to be an expert in understanding psychological conditions. A human and empathetic response goes a long way. Be sure to explore and reinforce existing support be mindful of cultural and religious beliefs. Explore alternative ideas and solutions with the person if appropriate or needed. And avoid premature reassurance. Liaise and consult with other team members as needed. Work with your scope of expertise. Be aware that mental health conditions, for example clinical depression, are usually treatable. Referral to specialist support services may be helpful in these circumstances. Notice your own fears and concerns about engaging in these conversations with patients and seek training and support if needed. Importantly, attend to your own stress and self-care.